Okay, so all I have to do is levitate across the chasm. Easy peasy. And, oh, 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 oh. Not so easy peasy. Welcome back to Psychonauts 2, everybody. We're, we're still in the tutorial episode, so let's just jump right in and see uh, how, how we do here. <laughs> I better eat a psychop I... before I run out of mental energy. Do I need to tell you how many times I've actually tried this uh, before going live? There we go. Sheesh, that took way too long. Oh, platforming, my old friends, here we are again. Okay, so what's my next move here? I am low on energy. What the heck? I'll go ahead and eat my pop. Mm, those side pops are good and good for you. <laughs> eat candy, children. I, I guess maybe we make the leap here. <laughs> jump, jump, or or maybe we don't do that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, this is gonna be a platforming nightmare, isn't it? Oh man, okay, yeah, do the updrafts, fine, fine. We all float up here, darling. Okay, got the things, and got the hat tag. Hey, the purse tag? I thought I left that behind. I guess I circle back and go get it. Well, that's good to know, sheesh. Okay, I don't think I'd make it back to the updraft. Let's go back here. Yes, sir. I see that other tag dancing over there, too. Um, I don't think I get there from here. Let's go ahead and progress. Yeah, I know. I see the figments. I mentioned in the last episode, I'm not going to be like a super completionist boy about getting all the figments. I'll get them if I can, but I'm not going to go out of my way. All right, more of those, uh, more of those doubts, those goopy bastards. Let's take it to them. Okay, you guys don't like fire, so burn! Or, or not, that's fine too. Maybe I kind of have to aim a little bit. Uh, there you go, burn them both, two for one. The fire does hurt me, so I need to be careful with that. I think that was my mistake in the first episode. That's holding the health. They're all in the water bottles. I wonder if that's going to change from level to level. Mm, it's so drippy. What's so drippy? Them up. Thank you, bunches. How do I get up here? Hmm. Well, none to be done for it. Mayhaps I jump from here, from this tooth. Up to Daisy. All right, there we go, figuring it out. Where are you, Mia? Oh, there you are, girl. I see you, girl. What's up, girl? Oh, wrong button, wrong button. I, I'm still figuring it out and I'm still good at video games. Uh, you. Down we go. Oh, one toothbrush. Hey, hey Mia, hey. Mia, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Lobato. There's a little chaos on every mission, Raz. A psychonaut must always remember how to roll with it. You remember how to gather your thoughts and roll with them, right? That's another little levitation hint. There we go. I was hoping they would bring that back. That was actually a really fun traversal uh, uh, mechanic that they built in. Okay, so what have we here? I see goodies. That goodies. But, but Micah like goodies. Micah want goodies. Micah can't get goodies. Oh, oh, uh, where did I go? Here I am. 
Well, let's see if we can actually float all the way down there, huh? Because that there's a tag that I won't. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Gotta go around, gotta do this all proper like. Do those give me any sort of benefit, or is that just like a hint saying, hey, dude, there's something cool over this way? Carefully, 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 carefully. All right, here we go. One, two, float them down. Wow, that did nothing. I've got like two seconds of hang time. Oh, well, maybe that's a later thing and not a now thing. Tally-ho! Levitation can protect you from hazardous floors. Press L2 while on the ground. Can do. It's all electrified. How are we in an electric mouth tube? I don't know. Girl, I, dude, I am not in the mood to hurry. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Here I thought maybe the game's platforming might be like, a teensy bit easier since we're on a new generation platform and everything. Well, it's a PS4. Not exactly new. All right, we'll get a little momentum. Maybe that's what she meant by worry. Ow! Oh, wow. Okay. Sure. All right, build up some momentum and hiya! Oh, I can't even uh, do the float. I have to take all that at speed and actually jump. Okay, okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Hiya! Uh, bouncy times, bouncy bounce. All right, going across, going across, going across, getting the teeth, getting the teeth, going across. Missed the thing, going back, gonna get it, I don't care. Look at all the rotating teeth, it's so pretty. Why is there a severed arm as a figment? Nailed it. 100% nailed it. Of course there had to be a big rotatey puzzle in here to absolutely piss me off on the second episode. That's exactly what happened in the second episode of my first playthrough, and I'm not exactly thrilled to see it return. If I'm being entirely honest with everyone. Now there, I just didn't even know where to go there. At least I got all the figments. Jump. I gotta jump through the hole. Jump. Woo! Okay. Where Only took me five you? tries. That's fine. Sasha, I can't reach Mia. I think she's been dementistrated. Better Sasha? than being dentistrated. Coach. Lily? Oh, no. I think I'm the last one still in here. Woo! <laughs> okay, so the controls aren't nearly as floaty as they were in the first game, but... Uh, Suitcase tag. Gotcha. Gotcha, Mr. Tag Man. The one saving grace is that you actually get a shadow to show where you are in the jumps. And the first game did not have that. And that made a lot of the jumps in the first game very difficult. All right, here we go. Now, with braces, those are there to explicitly stop the teeth from rotating. Why am I blinking like this? Is there a particular reason why? Yep. I'm not like that damaged. It can't be like a health thing, can it? No. Roll with it. Oh. What was I supposed to do again? It's him. I've got to stop him. Oh, hello. I am low on health. Okay, these little bastards will mess me up if I let them. They got to go. All right, give me all the health, what? please. Ow! Oh, okay. They did teach me to dodge, like, within the first five minutes of the game. Maybe I should, uh, be a little better about that. All right, I'm back, baby! I'm not gonna take it easy on you all this time. Ow! Ow! <laughs> That's right, I am going my hardest! Oh my god, these guys hurt so bad. 
Oh, and I'm almost dead. Uh, help, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Woo! Okay. Easy as pie. Absolutely easy as pie. Don't know what happened the first time. It must have been a game glitch. Okay, incorporating the dodge actually does make that a lot easier. So, uh, lesson learned. Oh, hi! What? That's not okay. Uh, all right, we'll do it again. Also, can we talk about how this level got real trippy real fast? I am so clenched right here. Oh my, oh no! You stay the hell away from me, sir. Box. Or possibly ma'am, we don't know. Box in the basket, in the basket in the ocean. No, that's not it. Back off. I put the old box in the basket and the egg in the ocean. I we go, all right, made the jumps. Oh my God. Oh. 3D platforming is 100% a weakness of mine. But hey, at least this is tough but fair. No, no. All right, up, 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 up the stairs we go. I put the old egg in the box in the basket in the egg. Oh, hey, it was uh, Shigor. This is a representation of the final tower in the first game. And there's the turtle daddy. The egg in the box. I don't remember the turtle's name. I've been calling him Turtle Daddy, and he has a name in the game. I can't remember it for the life of me. Mr. Somethingkins. Oh my god, be quiet. The box in the basket, and the basket in the ocean. No, no, that's not it. Put the old box in the basket, and the egg in the ocean. You put the egg in the basket, and the old egg in the box. In the box in the ocean. <laughs> Simple. And if you and the tell lotion on the face. Anyone about me, anyone at all. Oh no! You'll have to deal with her. No, not her. Please don't make me look at her again. No, no, I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. I promise. No, please. Okay, they're kind of starting to tie some things together. I said, oh, no, because the silhouette looked like the bully kid from the first game with the big giant mountain of hair on his head. <gasps> no, not her. I won't tell. Oh, <laughs> Have some little little wildlife friends. And a fish! Bozo's brain was booby trapped. Yes, whoever hired Lobato to kidnap Truman knew he might be psychically interrogated. The poor thing looks terrified. Did anyone get a good look at his boss? I saw him, but I couldn't tell who he was. And I saw something else. Something very screamy. I saw the thing that terrified Lobato. It was a woman, dressed in black fur. She was floating over the ruins of a city, and she was commanding serpents of water. There was something familiar about her. Rasputin, I'm going to show you a picture. That's her! Wait a second. I, I seen it! I recognized her. True Psychic Tales, issue 43. She's Which I just have right here. Maligula. The deluge of Grulovia. Maligula? She's been dead for 20 years! Ford Crawler killed her himself! A battle from which he never truly recovered. She uh, was a monster, backstory. A ruthless, power-hungry psychic who drowned hundreds of her own countrymen. Nevertheless, she still has her loyal followers to this day. 
This file documents recent activity believed to be the work of these modern-day delusionaries. What are they up to? Well, it's ridiculous, really. There's no scientific basis to... Necromancy. What? <laughs> they tried to bring her back to life? It's silly, darling. But if they believe they can do it, they might do some dangerous things. We're, we're on the I'm third episode, and we're already talking about necromancy. That unstable character. Could Bring never it. kidnap the grand head Get of the lost. Psychonauts without help? Yes. Second episode. You mean there's a mole in the Psychonauts? If you think this is a mole, you're dumber than you look. Approaching the mother lobe. Oh, they even got the same computer voice. Alpha one to brain building. Come in, brain building. This is brain building. You're clear to land. Okay, we get some of the Psychronauts bureaucracy. Some very severe shoulder pads. Would have looked right at home in the 80s. Agent Forsyth, why did you deny us intel when we hailed the mother lobe? What are you talking about, Agent 9? We were on a mission to rescue the Grand Head of the Psychonauts. When we called for assistance... I never heard any call. Who did you talk to? Uh-oh! Is he all right? We won't know for sure until we get that squirrel tested for rabies. This? is our kidnapper clearly he had help on the inside inside his Impossible. brain a mole in the psychonauts we have reason to believe delusionists are involved we didn't say and anything about a mole funny you should bring what? that up i know isn't it great the psychonauts haven't had this kind of a threat in years can someone now, help me with my dad pardon me this He's fish costume and i funny. are off to have a fun night Truman. I love this character. Let's get him inside so he can lie down. Getting like strong Maya Rudolph vibes from her. My meditation chamber. I'm taking Lobato to my office for further interrogation. I'm gonna talk to Otto about our military options. Does that make anyone else a little nervous? Who are you? Oh, I'm hi, not... I'm... Uh, Rasputin? I'm, uh, your newest psychonaut? How's that? Ford Crowley, he gave me a badge. I've been kind of helping out. <laughs> Listen, kid, Agent Crowler is a hero, but he's not operating at 100%. He can hand out all the merit badges he wants, but he doesn't have the authority to commission psychonauts. Mm. But you can, right? You're Hollis Forsyth, lesser head of the psychonauts. Everybody got that? True Psychic Tales 146. You and Truman fought the Noodler together. I prefer the title Second Head. If the <laughs> other agents <laughs> vouch for you, I might be able to get you a spot. In the intern program. Here, have a badge. But don't be late for orientation. I hear the coordinator's a real brain buster. Welcome to the mother lobe. Zoop. Okay, well, we'll just kind of hang around the office a little bit, see what the scuttlebutt is, maybe hang out by the water cooler, get the hot office tea. <clears throat> hey, is it okay if I go up into the main headquarters now? I'm sorry, little boy, but there just aren't any school tours today. Hey! What? I'm an intern. Blast Agent her with your brain. Forsyth gave me this. You were sitting right there when it happened. Really? Let's check your head in the thinker print reader, please. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> well, I'll be doused. Welcome to the intern program. Well, that Let didn't sound like an apology at all, receptionist. Who I'm sure has a name. Welcome to the intern program. This field manual will act... <clears throat> Try that again. 
Welcome to the Intern Program. This field manual will act as your guide through the world of Psychonauts. Your progress is tracked here along with information you gather on your journey to becoming a junior Psychonaut. When in doubt, press bleh to consult your manual. It's like the camp manual in the first game. Intern Profile. Your internship progress is tracked on this page. Intern rank is a key to unlocking new psychic abilities. Increase your rank by finding Psy challenge cards and markers in the real world or nuggets of wisdom in mines. Wow. Oh, they brought back the little that treasure hunt. That really captures my startled side. <laughs> uh, oh, towing the page, Psy powers. This section of your manual tracks the progress of any Psy powers you are authorized to use while in the intern program. As your rank increases, you will earn intern credit, which you can spend here for Psy power upgrades. Use of unauthorized powers is strictly prohibited. Ooh, looks like I can choose where to focus my energy and upgrade my powers. It's Maybe an upgrade it's tree! Very interesting indeed. Area survey! As a Psychonaut, is it Area survey. As a psychonaut, it is important to always be aware of your surroundings. This section of the manual tracks your exploration in both the physical and mental worlds. Gotta keep track of all the places I've been here. I just love that he has to chime in for everything. Mission log. The mission log tracks any official psychonaut's missions as you un- you uh, mm -mm. Mission log. The mission log tracks any official Psychonauts missions you undertake as part of the intern program. Consult this section for active missions and key operating procedures. I'll keep my to-do list here. Okay. Sounds like a plan. And the manual goes closed. Now then, I'm going to give you another chance to apologize to me because you were very rude. So where is the intern coordinator? Upstairs, second floor, just past the classroom. Now hurry. I will take my own pace, thank you very much. Nobody tells Razaquato how fast to go. There. Now you have to deal with that. Aren't you glad you were rude to me now? See what it gets you. There's nothing worse than stuffy, uppity office employees. Right? We're all just people. We're all here to do a thing. Oh wow, that's it? Nothing? Nothing else? They didn't hide any any yum yums, any good yum yums around here. All right, no choice but uh, to go up, unless there's something behind here. No, man, that would have been a perfect hiding spot. Scanning for fingerprint. Because it sounds like fingerprint. They called it fingerprint. That's so clever. Wee. I can't believe I'm really here. Just sit back and enjoy the movie. Headquarters. Ow. Sorry, new ball. That's okay, Larry. Wow. Oh, I thought I was getting another cutscene. We're still playing. Okay, well, I'm clearly lots to explore here. Uh, lots of fun new people to talk to. Look at all this. Oh, this looks so good. It looks so good, and I can't wait to explore it. But we'll have to do that in another episode. We're out of time for today. Bye.